Good morning vlog. We have the two girls here. Little Oatmeal is making noises and Piglet is sitting on her ramp. As you guys know, we have ramps all around the couch and then we have this side of the couch blocked off because of Piglet's back injury back in November. Um, I don't think we talked about that much on this channel. Maybe we should do a video on that because um, Piglet was paralyzed and I'm just gonna skim over that. And some of you might be like, what, what the heck? But she's okay now. Uh, she just can't jump anymore. So we have ramps everywhere. So you never jump again. But I'm starting this vlog off bright and early because we have a big day today and I'm gonna be bringing you guys along throughout a lot of it. These girls are being very clingy. Piglet's pawing at me. Oatmeal's trying to get in my lap. <laughs> this is crazy. It's Bobby's birthday today. So I have a lot to do and we're doing a lot of different things. Um, right now we're about to go out to breakfast to one of my favorite diners. It's called the Soda Jerk, and they have really, really good milkshakes there, but I'm not gonna get a milkshake because we have a cruise coming up. Michael literally just went to sleep. Some of you may not know that he has a crazy sleep schedule, so he literally just went to bed, so he's not gonna be coming along, and Tress is at work, so she's also not gonna be there, so it's just gonna be my dad, Bobby, and I, and we're gonna be going to breakfast for his birthday. And then I'm gonna come right home, and we have lots to do, and I have some things to catch you up on with this little girl, but but I wanted to open this up early in the morning because, you know, since this is going to be such a crazy busy day. But yeah, we have a little bit of an update on Miss Oatmeal, cutie. And little piggy over there still smells a little bit like a skunk. So I'm assuming maybe she did get sprayed because it's literally still lingering even after all these baths and, you know, all of the things that you do whenever your dog gets sprayed by a skunk. Her head like right around her ears smells like a skunk. It's not bad, like I can't smell her from here, but if you go up close and personal and you kiss her, you're gonna absolutely smell a little bit of a skunk. One of Oatmeal's favorite things is omelets. She loves omelets, so I wish she could come along, but she can't, but I'm gonna go get some breakfast. You guys wanna come along? Let's go get some breakfast. All right, we got our breakfast. I have a sausage omelet. Bobby's got some eggs and bacon. A little hot sauce there. There we go. This looks so good. My dad's got some eggs and bacon. All looks real good. We're back from breakfast. It was very, very good. And it is snowing outside right now, you guys. You probably can't see very well, but it's flurrying. It was snowing like a lot more before I got out the camera. It's starting to slow down and it looks like the sun's trying to come out. But yeah, it's snowing on Bobby's birthday. The weather has been crazy. Yesterday it was really warm. Today it's cold with snow. Like PA just can't, I can't figure it out. It's snowing, there's flowers in our front yard. Like PA is very confused. But after breakfast, I went to Party City. So Bobby left and then I was like, hey dad, do you wanna go to Party City with me? Cause I have to get some stuff for tonight that is like gonna be a little surprise cause obviously it's his birthday, I don't want him to know about it. So my dad and I, we headed to Party City and we got some balloons filled with helium. I am actually incorporating both Bobby and Tress's birthday tonight because we are not gonna be home for Tress's birthday. So we're gonna give them both of their gifts at the same time. So I made a cake for both of them. I had the gifts for both of them and I'm gonna put just up a couple decorations for both of them because we're going out to dinner and stuff and we're just coming back here for cake. But Bobby and I grew up playing Animal Crossing. Well, he really played it and I just kind of like watched him do it. I had no idea what I was doing. And uh, I loved the game and whenever they came out with it on the Switch, Bobby got me the special edition Switch. I'm actually gonna go in the movie room and show you guys because it's so cool. So here it is. I just love the colors. It's really pretty. And then on the back, if you look really close, you can actually like see hidden little Easter eggs, I guess, of Animal Crossing. So there's some characters and stuff there. It's my favorite out of all of the Switch colors that you can get. Anyways, I'm always adjusting the pills in the movie room because the girls come in here and they zoom. So I just feel like I'm constantly fixing the freaking pillows in here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we all love Animal Crossing and uh, we play it and stuff. I don't think that they have been playing much recently because sometimes like you hit a rut and like there's not much to do and then you get into it like a few months later. And I think that's the rut that all of us are in, but it's always a game that's very nostalgic. So I figure I'm going to have their theme of the party this year be Animal Crossing just for fun. But I wanted to wrap the presents like the floating gifts in the game. So I got some white boxes boxes and I have their gifts in here and I wrapped them with red ribbon and then at Party City we got the helium red balloon and then for their cake I was gonna make Mr. Nook 
but then I really wanted to do Isabel, so I ended up doing Isabel. I think she turned out really cute, so I guess I, I guess I could show it to you guys. I actually did a Frenchie's Bakery video on this, so I'm gonna have to edit it and post it. It's not focusing, it's because it's focusing on this rack. Of course, it's not focusing on the cake, but um, yeah, I think she's cute. And then I just have some simple decorations that I'm gonna hang up. And I have a happy birthday banner with Animal Crossing on it. And I don't know, I just think it's adorable and I'm excited to put this all together. So we have a little oatmeal. <laughs> We're laying on the kitchen floor. There's a printer box back there because we had to get a new printer yesterday because ours wouldn't turn on. And it was really old so we had to go get a new one. So I wanted to catch you guys up on oatmeal because I feel like maybe in the last video I showed you guys and then I said that I was going to explain it and maybe I didn't even show you guys at all. This is kind of difficult to do. <laughs> um, but Oatmeal cracked her toenail and it was completely split the whole way up to like where it was growing out. And this happened in the middle of February, by the way. Um, and it was such a bad crack. I, I let it go for like two days because I was like, okay, I don't need to freak out like I always do and I don't have to take her to the vet like I always do. Um, and then it was getting like really bad and it looked really uncomfortable and it was bleeding and all this stuff. Um, so I called the vet and they were like, actually, you definitely have to bring her in for that. That's something that you absolutely have to take care of. So I took her in and right away they were like, we have to remove this. So that's what we did. Ernie had a little bit of laughing gas and she did so good. She was totally like right back to normal whenever she came back in the room. And she had a big red boot on her foot. So she was wearing like a cast. And it was so, so sad. And she had to wear that for like five days. And she was walking on three legs. And she did such a good job. Like, she was a natural at it. <laughs> when we took the bandage off, we kind of thought like, okay, this is normal, all is well. And then probably like a week later, her toe was just enormous. And it looked like double or triple the size. I am gonna pop up pictures, okay? And these pictures may be considered graphic for some people. So just like look away for the next, I don't know, 10 seconds. So it was like bleeding and not well. It was really, really sad and really bad. And she was still walking on three legs because it obviously hurt her. And I'm just like, I, I feel like this is the process, you know? Of course her foot is sore. Of course she's still walking on three legs. But I called anyways and I was like, can I send you guys these pictures? And they were like, please do. And right away they were like, you gotta bring her in. The vet said that it's worst case scenario, but she thinks that her toe will need amputated. My little baby, because they figured the infection was so bad that it went into her bone. And I was like, I am not gonna panic. I'm not gonna freak out about this. When the time comes, then I could freak out. But I didn't, you know, I, I did not freak out. I was like, okay, like, we'll keep taking care of it. We're doing um, soaks with her foot as well. I forget, I don't wanna disturb her. I always call it iodine soaks, but it's not. It's um, betadine. She's doing betadine soaks. So she's on a bunch of meds. She's doing soaks daily. And uh, we just went for a checkup. So I've been going to the vet like nonstop. I'm going back and forth for checkups and all these things for her little claw. But this past checkup, she said that it's doing really good. She's doing good with the meds. Um, and I have a checkup at the end of this week and we're gonna see, and it's gonna be like the go ahead if she's totally fine. The paw looks okay. I mean, the toe's still a little swollen though. Like, so her paw's stained yellow from the soaks, but it's the, it's the very last little toe. And you can see it's like, it's bubbled up compared to the rest. So I, I don't know, my gosh, you guys, I really hope she doesn't have to get her little toe removed. So we're crossing our fingers and we're hoping that she does not have to get it amputated, but obviously we will let you guys know. And we can't wait for her to be off these meds because she's on so many meds and two of them really upset stomachs. So she has not had an appetite and we cannot get her to eat anything. Like we try peanut butter, McDonald's cheeseburgers, meatballs, chicken tenders. And like we told the vet all this and she was like whatever you can get down get down because it's important at this point because she's so small but it's been very very difficult to get her to eat and i'm sure many of you guys know when your dogs or pets don't eat it's like one of the most stressful things in the whole entire world because it's just it's very stressful when they don't eat so it's been a little stressful here but she's doing really good and she's in great spirits i mean she's playing acting normal and i think i think she's doing okay so hopefully that Swelling goes down and I hope that my babe's okay. Now we have to bake some cookies and you look pretty tired You need to wake up to bake the cookies for your uncle So a fun thing is happening to me right now and naturally during this 
horribleness, I decided to whip out the camera and vlog for you guys. My oven will not turn off, and this is the first time that this has ever happened. Now, this oven is very old and disgusting, but this has never happened. So, other buttons work, but the off button does not. But maybe this is good news. Maybe I can get a new oven because I've been wanting to for a long time. I just haven't because we're supposed to be moving soon. Michael is fully taking apart the oven now. Well, this thing's a disaster. <laughs> Nothing's working. Oh, the junk. So. Don't ever buy a house, just rent. <laughs> And then it's someone else's problem. So much of our stuff has broken and we had to replace it. And then it just feels like such a waste because we're gonna be moving. So it really sucks. We're about to head out to go get dinner. We're gonna go to the Hotel Hershey tonight, the circular dining room. It's a really beautiful dining room, great food. And we're just all gonna go out and celebrate Bobby's birthday. And then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna conjoin the two birthdays and uh, throw a little celebration for both Bobby and Tressa. I have a little bit of decorations up here. I think the banners are super cute. I got that off of Amazon if you want to have a Animal Crossing birthday party. And then on the table, whenever they walk in, I'm gonna have the cake sitting here. I thought that the bees were fitting because if you know, you know from Animal Crossing. And then I have the plates and stuff for us to eat the cake. Then of course, Bobby's cookies. And I'm gonna also put the presents over here. So everything will be sitting here whenever they come in. I'm really excited to go to dinner and I'm really excited to you know, celebrate with them. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.